Avernus consumed itself before my eyes. The city was paved in blood and flesh, yet what would have appalled me in life only tempted me in death. Once I would have felt horror, now only hunger remained. Avernus lay in ruins before me. Whatever hand slaughtered its people ravaged the city as well. The beast paused for a moment, drooling in anticipation of the fine meal he saw before him. To his disappointment, he would not find me such easy prey. I felt its eyes upon me, eager, hungry, as if it longed to rip my heart out and eat it before me as I died. I laughed as the onslaught began. Perhaps when it was over, it would be the other way around. Avernus was a religious autocracy, with the cathedral as its dais of power. Though the city lay in ruins, the cathedral remained untouched. The demons knew better than to bite the hand that feeds them. <laughs> Above me stood a memory, etched in stained glass. Time fades even legend, and the origin of Soul Reaver has been lost long ago. But its purpose remains, to feed on the souls of any creature it strikes. Kindred, this blade and I. And Hashak Gix spoke unto the world, and all who heard trembled. Bring me your firstborn, and shed their blood upon the altar of the world, so that I may take nourishment from them. Do this without question, or suffer my wrath for eternity. And its will was done. I had not even realized the blade and the raiment were here. You wear those trinkets well, Cain. But I do believe that they would look better on me. The matriarch of Avernus, the Lady Azimuth. Her magical planing skills summon demons through runes inscribed in human blood. Come to me, my children. We shall ravage Nazgoth together. So, little man, have they sent you to stop me? <laughs> my children shall rip you apart. Come, my demons. <sighs> For all her magic, the Lady Azimuth was little trouble. 
Once her demonic thralls had been dispatched, she fell quickly to my blade. Azimuth's third eye, a gift from the Pillar of Dimensions, allowed the planar sight into other realms. The pillar reclaims its own. <sighs> It will deliver you in time. Before the Dimension Pillar, I lay the Eye of Azimuth. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. Well done. You have found Mobius's toy. Azimuth, not content with summoning Demonic Thrall, stole the time-streaming device in order to gather creatures from other ages as well. Take care of the device, Cain. It will deliver you in time. The legions of the Nemesis are on the march from the north, crushing all in their path. T'was not too long ago that the Nemesis was known as William the Just, a caring and gentle benefactor of the land. But as his army grew in strength and he himself grew in power, the veil of tyranny fell and one kingdom was not enough. So many cities... So many dead. Willendorf will be sure to follow. The nemesis must be stopped, or all shall be lost. How can one stop an army? You must rally the forces of Willendorf. They are the last hope of Nosgoth. The Spectre of Ariel led me to Willendorf. If I was to defeat the next member of the Circle, I needed to understand his machinations. With this vague advice in mind, I set forth on the road to Willendorf. Willendorf, proud defender of the realm with its warrior elite and mighty ruler, King Ottmar. The Lion Throne had once held my allegiance, but Willendorf's days of glory had passed. It was the last bastion against an unruly future. What has become of the Lion of Willendorf? Who will protect us from the nemesis? The king's heart pines for his daughter. Someone stole her soul, you know. Strange, isn't it, Cain, that one cannot quite accept that which sustains him. You in your death, and me in mine. But death cannot reign in a world without life, and soon you will find the quest ahead of you is yours and yours alone. I can assist you no longer. I've heard that an army from the north is preparing to invade. Is it true?